As of today, we have 40 new cases to report for a total of 271 people who have tested positive so far here in British Columbia. And by health authority, 152 are in Vancouver Coastal Health, 81 in Fraser Health Authority, 22 are now on Vancouver Island, uh, 12 in Interior Health area and four remain in the north. We have uh, unfortunately and sadly uh, one additional death to report here in British Columbia today. Of the cases that we have, 17 are now in hospital, so that's an increase from 13 from yesterday, with nine of those people being in intensive care right now. We continue to have only five who are in our recovered uh, list. However, um, we know that most of those people are actually doing very well. Their symptoms have resolved um, at home, as with most of our cases so far, and we are awaiting um, their clearance uh, with laboratory testing. This is not optional, and I want to be very clear that everybody needs to take these actions now and this is what's going to protect us for the next few weeks, is going to protect ourselves, is going to protect our families, and going to protect our communities. The importance cannot be minimized. As individuals, I also encourage you to, to get outside. There are things you can do, even if we're doing social distancing. You can walk your pet, you can go for a bike ride, you can play with your kids. And these are the things that you want to do in a small group, as a family, together, and maintain your distance from others when you're outside as well. We know that different people have different needs and responsibilities in their lives, but what we're saying is pretty clear. What we do today affects the lives of people everywhere tomorrow and next week and next month. What we do today makes a difference. The actions we take today are important. So right now and in the days and weeks and months ahead, we need to do what we're asked to do.